There's been an increasing number of acres of malt barley being grown in the Northeast. Generally, this is due to the fact that there's also more malt houses being operated in the Northeast, and those malt houses are looking for locally grown malt. Uh, barley raised for malt hasn't traditionally been a crop that's that common in New England or the Northeast. And hence, there's a lot of farmers that have never grown barley before that are starting to grow barley in this region. As a result, many farmers have started to ask about strategies to grow high quality malt barley. Today, we're gonna to talk about harvesting strategies to help produce high quality malt grade barley. Malt grade barley should be clean, free of debris, have high germination capacity, and also be fully intact seeds that are extremely plump and golden blonde. So if you look at the malt barley here in, the, in this field, you can see that it's ready for harvest. It's completely dried down. A barley is physiologically mature when the seed reaches approximately 35% moisture. But at that time, you're not able to use mechanical combine to harvest the malt barley. Really, the best time to harvest um, barley for malt is when the seed is at 13.5% or lower moisture. In other regions, it's really common to swath barley. And when you're swathing barley, you can swath the barley, which means cutting it and allowing it to dry, very similar to making hay. In that case, if you're swathing barley, you can swath the barley when the seed's at 20 to 30% moisture. But swathing is not very common in the Northeast region because we commonly have rainfall during the harvest season. And once you swath a grain, you want it to be able to dry down to the harvest moisture without getting rained on. So most people will direct combine. So essentially they'll come into a barley field and combine the heads or the seed directly off the grain with the grain standing. In that case, you really need to be cautious about what moisture the grain is at before you start direct combining. Grain can be harvested at high moistures, 24% and lower, but the higher the moisture content of the grain, the more prone it may be to loss, uh, the more prone it may be to heating up during storage, and also for damage. Ideally, you want to harvest the grain when it's right at the proper storage moisture, which is 13.5%. Once the grain is that dry, you have other issues that you need to worry about, such as shattering when you're harvesting. And then also, you can see more broken kernels and skin kernels if the grain is really dry during harvest. So harvesting at the proper moisture is important, and it's really up to the farmer to decide what's the right stage to get going. And that often will be predetermined or determined more so by the weather and the condition of the field um, and, and less so on the actual moisture of the barley. In order to produce high quality malt barley, there's a lot of considerations that need to be made. Those considerations shouldn't even be something you're thinking about when you're getting ready to harvest. Those would have been variety selection, fertility management, weed control, disease management, all of the practices that you should have put into place prior to harvest. But once you get to harvest, there are uh, special practices and considerations that you need to make to be able to pull off a high quality crop. That would include harvesting at the proper moisture, setting the combine properly, operating the combine properly, once the grain is harvested, making sure that it gets cleaned, um, and if it needs to be dried, that it's dried with the proper temperature um, and, and airflow.